fellas, you both know the rules. Keep it clean. Don't let anything low. Watch your heads. And when I say break, take a step back. Most important, defend yourself at all times. Well, a very warm welcome to everyone joining us live on Vidal's YouTube channel. The realist Vidal Riley in the black and green takes on Ross McGuigan, the first unbeaten fighter. Seconds out. In the Round career one. of Vidal Riley. Looking forward to this one, Matthew. Vidal made a good impression so far in the pro ranks. A very well schooled amateur. And his father this week, Derek, has been saying we're instilling a destruct and destroy Marvin Hagler mentality as both start fast. Yeah, well already he's landed big shots, right overhand right, jabbing the body, looking to chuck the right hand over the top. Big shot from Riley. No feeling out process in this one. No, he's upright, McGuigan. He needs to tighten up defensively, getting caught with those overhand rights from Vidal Riley, who's jabbing the body well, bringing the guard down from McGuigan, then looking to loop that right hand over the top. So McGuigan needs to watch out for that. And a stern telling off from Darren Sargentson early, and McGuigan's erratic, he's excited, it's a big stage for him. Yeah, very upright though, chin in the air. I think Vidal jabbing the body, trying to land that right hand over the top. Good left hand to the body from Vidal Riley. McGuigan just forced to hold. This is a torrid start. Fine wine on the back of the 36-year-old waistband. Oh, Riley from the crouch. It was a crunching right hand. Credit to McGuigan on this occasion, he took it well. Yeah, he took it well, but again, when he throws his punches, McGuigan, his chin's in the air, picks up. Wide open for the shots coming over the top from Riley. Riley stalking. Climbs into a left hand. McGuigan on this occasion. Just tries to ride it. And he's hanging on for dear life. Darren Sargentson, bit of a job on his hands there, trying to break the fighters. It's all Riley so far. McGuigan just. Gets a right hand off of his own. You can hear the red corner. That's Father Derek just imploring Vidal to use the jab more. Yeah, I think the key here for Vidal Riley is not to go looking for the knockout, not to load up, but just to get that jab working. Up and down, head and body. The right hand over the top is there. He doesn't need to go looking for it. Just get your jab there first. Get your distance, and then the right hand, the left hooks will follow automatically. Because as I say, McGuigan does when he throws his punches. You know his chin is in the air, so I don't think Vidal Riley's going to find it too difficult to find him. Right hand from Riley was a good-looking shot, but McGuigan just turning away to the right, and McGuigan already being forced to hold on nearly every occasion. Problem with the headband. Darren Sargentson says enough of that and chucks it over the top rope. And on we go. Good jab from Vidal Riley. Yeah, jabbing his way in. That's the right thing to do for Riley. Use your jab, head and body. Cover the distance with your feet. Riley just sways out of a right hand from Vidal Riley who finishes with a good jab to the body but that's not an ideal first three minutes for Ross McGuigan from Peckham that's well down now now getting into a groove you've got to use your jab more okay you're not you're banding the jab you've got to be sharper with the jab you've got to be more patient yeah don't look don't you look you're loading off don't look for the jab you're looking for it too much yeah, okay. I don't like those, those leaping left hooks. Okay. When he's back up to the ropes, one, two. Yeah? Okay. One, two to the body. If you're going to throw the left hook, you got to go two to the body and then come up with it. Okay. Don't do it because they'll throw it like that. He's going to kick right. rope in your Yeah, he's going to kick Yeah, definitely. Uh, like I say, he's not going to have to look too hard for McGuigan. He's defensively pretty leaky and he picks up with his chin in the air. So I think the, his cornerman telling the right thing. Don't look for it. More jabs. Seconds out, round two. 
second of six in the cruiserweight division Vidal Riley in the black and green very good first three minutes from him and as you alluded to in the first round McGuigan's trying to get his own work away but every time he does the, the chin creeps up and that is surely a target for Riley good lead screw shot almost there from Vidal Riley yeah that was nice just slipped inside the jab from McGuigan and landed that screw shot good work from him McGuigan's unorthodox and the hands are down by the sides and it's, a, it's always a brave approach you have to have those David Hay and George Groves fast twitch movements he's ungainly and he's irky jerky and he's awkward and I think Vidal just got to relax settle down don't look for the power shots they're there just set, you, set it up behind the jab up and down with that jab head and body cover the distance with your feet the right hand from Riley wasn't far away the crowd like those I'm not sure too many of them landed flush but how many warning shots does Ross McGuigan need for that right hand from Riley you'd think law of averages eventually one of them's going to land on this chin yeah I think the, the thing here for Vidal what he's got to guard against is like to try and doesn't want to start trying too hard looking for the knockout loading up he needs to stay nice and loose good jab to the body from Riley who turns south poor the left hook doesn't quite land flush. Good body work from Riley. The left hook just in front of us landed. Yeah, I think just down the double jab right hand at the chest. You know, he's pulling back and he's, like I say, on gainly and he's awkward. He's very irky jerky as well. Quite novicey. McGuigan, so the Vidal just needs to stay composed, stay relaxed, and jab the chest. Come in behind it then. Riley just looks to get that jab off. And good off the body movement there from Riley as McGuigan was looking to get his own punches away. Ross, those hands have got to be fucking good for that. Sharper. Yeah, keep those fucking hands up, bro. Yeah? In your clinch, that's the same. Listen, yeah, listen. Yeah, this is so well. Relax, because you've got to kid him. You've got to kid him in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you've got to throw him and kid him, kid him. And then boom. Okay. Yeah? When he's grabbing you up, when he's grabbing you up, just relax in there. Yeah. Just relax. They're doing psychology, saying the basic, all that nonsense. Yeah. Listen, we know this, bro. Don't let it get into your head. Relax. Okay? Let your shots go. I want to see variation of shots now. I don't want all the shots hard. Yeah? Where's the power? For those 10 seconds. Welcome back to the AO Arena Manchester. There's Fraser Second Clark, down. big phrase. Taking on Kamil Sokolowski tonight. A fight that many of you at home have been calling for. Good opportunity to see where Fraser is in his professional development. Back to this one, round three. And actually a chance for us to see where Vidal Riley is in his professional development. And I can tell you that right hand was a good looking shot. McGuigan, for his part, tries to fight fire with fire there. But Matt, I've said it before, how many warnings does he need? The overhand right, he's going to land one eventually. Yeah, I think McGuigan's chin's in the air, isn't it? His defences are down. He leans back, he picks up, his chin's up in the air, wide open. Vidal Riley's just got to, I think, focus on the body and then finish his combination upstairs and the knockout will be there. McGuigan looking to referee Darren Sargentson, but he was looking to hold and it was Riley who was looking to work. On that occasion, the ref didn't need to get involved. Yeah, I think Vidal just needs to 
don't don't try and force this knockout. It's there. I think he's just got to get his shots off, put his combinations together. You know, start on the body and then work his way up. Finish upstairs. We we'll start on the body. The knockout's there. It'll come. It was a nice looking left hook to the body there as McGuigan's back was to the ropes and Riley was intent on working. Not all of those landed, but there was a good left hook in there. Decides just to neglect the jab and throw the right hand to the midsection of McGuigan. He's still there, he's unorthodox. I just wonder sometimes with these unorthodox fighters, with a textbook fighter, you know what they're going to throw, you know what's coming. McGuigan, for his part, is unorthodox. He's all off one leg, he's throwing shots he wouldn't expect. Takes another right hand there that lifts him off his feet, actually. But Yeah, he's really awkward, and what, what happens then is you can start forcing it you, 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 you know you start trying to search for the knockout look for the one punch start loading up and you lose your rhythm you lose your timing and you get frustrated with yourself and that's that's the biggest uh, thing that Vidal needs to guard against here that's where he needs to try and get back to basics get back to the jab and get some uh, you know get some rhythm get some flow in his work the start of this attack was a nice jab from Vidal Riley good right good shots. down goes McGuigan Referee Darren Sardison waves this one off. No need to see any more. That's an explosive finish from Vidal Riley. The warning signs were there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you knew the knockout was coming because McGuigan, awkward, ungainly, unorthodox, chin in the air, wide open really for the shots. I think that the biggest think for Vidal was getting there it, we knew that we knew it was there he just had to put the shots together he was trying to force it at times affected his rhythm affected the uh, fluidity but once he settled down once he put his shots together I think it was a double right hook combination body and head which which got the knockout I'd have to see it again but it was definitely I think a right hook which uh, which scored the knockdown and, and ultimately the knockout but McGuigan was awkward he was game early on and I think uh, Vidal found no trouble landing, but I think he was just got a little bit gung-ho and got a bit too excited, tried to force the knockout. Lost his rhythm a little bit, got frustrated with himself, but then settled down, got back behind the jab, and ultimately got a spectacular knockout in the end. That's off the back of a first round knockout of Jonah Valau as well. So evidence that there is power there. Matt, just talk us through this. Yeah, there's the, we've just seen it, the, a big right hand at the end, looping, long right hook. And we see another angle of it. Yeah. Started down with the body and then really looped it over the top, overhand right. And you see the way he, he slumped there. No chance was he getting up, and the referee rightly, you know, shortened the count, waved it off because he wasn't going to beat that count regardless. Let's head over to Big Mo, our master of ceremonies, for confirmation of the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Darren Sargentson calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 27 seconds of the third round, declaring your winner by TKO and still undefeated, Vidal Riley! So all smiles from the realist Vidal Riley. He moves on to 7-0 and, and a job well done here in Manchester